Hi guys, everything new on the sun. Economic collapse. I want to take a look at some headlines. Um, things are getting um, a, a lot more unstable in the world. Several countries are having a lot of trouble. There's a lot of headlines here. I want to quickly go over the headlines here to give you an indication that the, this issue is all around the world. This is a global economic problem, and we will see a global economic collapse. This will usher in the last, uh, the end of time. Uh, and the Antichrist, and this will lead to the seven-year tribulation, and we are very, very close to that. This could happen this year. Look at some of these. This is an article on Zero Hedge. Peter Schiff, we are seeing a lot of warning signs of a financial crisis. I'm just going to read this from this article, and then we're going to take a look at headlines. We're seeing a lot of warning signs people should be worried about, but again, they're dismissing them much the way they did 10 years ago. You know, we're getting close to the 10-year anniversary of 2008 financial crisis which was never solved. They never uh, fixed the actual issue there, which is the overall, the overhanging debt of the world. Remember, the whole thing started in August 2008. Here we are in August 2018, 10 years later. I think we're heading for an even bigger crisis. <clears throat> and the same people are even more clueless, it says. Look at these headlines. Cryptocurrencies are downwards. When, when this thing goes down, everything is going down. Notes from the brink, reasons behind the crypto bear market. The long-term trend is way up, but I expect many short-term swings in the market. Fundamentally, the world needs Bitcoin. Again, you can see in the in this event of a financial crisis, um, the citizens of the world, like I mentioned in the last video, will be screaming for a one-world economy. They'll be screaming for a leader to implement a one-world monetary system <clears throat> so that the economy can be built back up, so that they can uh, eat. They'll be starving uh, with a worldwide economic collapse. This is going to catapult us into end time bioprophecy and uh, usher in the uh, the antichrist. We're very, very close to that. Look at this. Turkey stocks. Lira slide after uh, Mnuchin threatens more sanctions. Turkey is in financial freefall. Economic collapse. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, Turkey rules out capital controls. Germany is suggesting that IMF bailout would be helpful. So now they're calling for a bailout uh, of Turkey by the IMF. What nations haven't had a bailout in Europe now? Um, incredible stuff. Um, look at this. Uh, from doom loop to just doom, Italian debt faces huge structural shift. Uh, Italy is in uh, huge uh, financial uh, trouble. And, uh, you know, they've already been bailed out. The, the end of the ECB's net QE purchases, i.e. bailout, together with tendency of foreign uh, investors uh, to reduce their exposure to sovereign debt in periods of heightened volatility, which is now, it's heightened volatility now, increases the need for a marginal buyer of Italian uh, BTPs. So they're asking for a bailout because people are getting out of the markets because of the volatility in the markets. So no one's willing to invest in Italy. Look at this, dollar dumps, erases weeks gains as yuan, lira, and ruble uh, rally. People are dumping the U.S. dollar. Remember, the world reserve currency currently is the U.S. dollar. If people uh, all around the world pull out of it, that's going to cause a loss of confidence in the U.S. dollar and uh, lead to a, a changing of the guard in the world reserve currency and to usher in, effectively, um, a new monetary system. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, pretty much all these. Uh, look, at housing starts to disappoint dramatically, fall year over year. The housing market is, uh, the bubble, that's, that's the current bubble, uh, is heading downwards. JP Penney crashes to record lows as default risk soars. Ch uh, companies are uh, defaulting. They're going into bankruptcy. Uh, China crushes the yuan bear as cost to short yuan soars most since 2016. Um, they are continually devaluing uh, their dollar. Uh, Walmart is apparently uh, going up, strongest sales in 10 years, um, probably because all um, the uh, tariffs that uh, Trump has put uh, in place uh, there. So, I, I, of course, they get, they do get a lot of their uh, products from China, so I don't know how that's affecting them. Now, I guess Trump has the steel and uh, other tariffs, uh, but maybe not that. Uh, but I interesting, um, you know, basically the majority of the headlines... Uh, on Zero Hedge, which is an economic uh, website, um, suggests that uh, there are so many countries in trouble. There are some companies making money in this market. The, the, the market, you know, is apparently good in the U.S. Uh, stock markets are up. 
But that doesn't mean, necessarily mean um, um, that the whole system is healthy. That does not mean that the whole system is healthy. There is uh, trillions of dollars worth of debt, and uh, we're, we're going to see an economic collapse soon. You can't have all these countries declaring bank bankruptcy. You can't have all the countries in, the, in Europe uh, getting bailouts, and they all need them. They all have debt that they're never, ever going to pay off. And I think, uh, I think this gives a, an indication of where we are. Uh, Peter Schiff is saying if there's other leaders, I could go page after page on Zero Hedge as an example um, to show um, that there is uh, trouble in the monetary system. And they've been calling for it, and, and it should have happened a long time ago. Um, and it hasn't. Um, but uh, the, the truth is that it's got to come down the pipe. We're going to see it again. 2008 didn't correct the situation that caused 2008. Uh, and so that's coming down the pipe again. So economic collapse uh, is coming uh, soon. I just wanted to give you kind of the, the high-level overview of the situation. It's bad. It's very bad. And uh, this pushes us into a uh, you know, hyperinflation sort of scenario. Hyperinflation is happening in Turkey. Hyperinflation has overwhelmed Venezuela. They are a failed country. And it's, uh, uh, you want to look at the, what North America will be like when the, the economic collapse occurs. It's going to be Mad Max, just as it is in Venezuela. There will be evil and violence, and people will be murdering each other because uh, they'll be desperate. Uh, the last days, guys, are upon us, and these are significant things to pay attention to, to watch, and to be aware of. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.